you got so into this character, you're falling asleep at night listening to his vocal patterns? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you do it? Can you do it on command now, or did you forget how to do it? Oh, uh, no, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. I, I'm, not, I'm not wearing the glasses. I'm, I'm, I'm so like, you dressed inhabit, sharp. Like, you inhabit the character. Yeah, it would be weird to, like, be wearing, like, you know, these shoes right. and Laker socks. And, uh, Can you wear Laker socks? Yeah. I'm, yeah. These are these are L.A. Lakers. Oh, I, I can't believe they let you in the set. Yeah, and and this is That's James Worthy, by the way. Oh my so God! You know. I feel like this Number is an 42. intentional dig. I would have worn my Larry Bird socks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't even know you were gonna. Do but that. no, I can't wear those socks and do the Snowden voice at the same yeah. time. It'd be weird. So when you're on the set, are you walking around as Snowden? Like you're not even filming. You're like, I'm gonna go get a diet soda, but you're <laughs> walking like him and talking like him. I, I'm not as extreme. Um, I had I had an amazing opportunity to work with Daniel Day Lewis when he played Lincoln, Ooh. and he just did that voice. I never heard him not do the voice. Uh, when I met him, uh, you know, he he said hello, Robert. In as a Lincoln. Yeah, and but and then once we wrapped that night when the movie was all done, I I kind of met him as Daniel for the first time. So, so you knew him the whole time you're filming as Abe Lincoln, basically. I called him and sir. And then you see him, you call him sir. Mm. And then you see him that Spielberg called him party. Mr. President. Really? Yeah. 